I might be depressed. I think the actual word is ennui, ennui, en, en, ennui, 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 the feeling of listlessness or dissatisfaction arising from the lack of occupation. Okay, that is exactly what I'm feeling. So here's the big update, people. My European summer tour, not happening. And that was like my big tent post for the year. So I'm not really sure what I want to do with my life for the next few months. And if you're one of the many, many chicks who uh, signed up to meet me on my European tour, I'm going to refund you your reservation fee. And I will be coming to Europe probably in the fall or the winter. Winter in Europe, fuck that. Oh, I don't know. So instead of hiding under an ennui rock, I'm going to share my ennui with you and how I deal with it. So maybe you can learn something if I do anything that makes sense in the next couple minutes. So first, what is the problem? I don't feel like doing anything. I'm into a routine of like releasing my videos and sending out like an email every week. I'm doing that, but I'm not like making progress on anything. And there's a whole list of things that I could make progress on, like releasing an eating pussy course, like releasing a sensual massage course, making a branded vibrator that I can sell to chicks, like setting up an affiliate program, like making my model contact system a lot better than just randomly messaging chicks on Instagram, rebranding my site, making a video intro that is not like three years old and cringy, making an Instax scanner thing that actually fucking works. A lot of things I can do, but I don't really have any energy to like do any of those. So what I want is some energy, some zest for life, and some drive or a why behind a project or two that I can knock out in the next couple months. That's what I want to accomplish. Probably not right now, today, but in the next couple days. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try to get out of a rut, guys. First thing on my get out of a rut list is I'm gonna clean up my place because I just have like shit sitting around. I have cameras here that I am not using. I have this tripod here. All this shit that I'm just like looking at every day. I have like some cum crusted underwear here. All right, I need to clean up all this shit. So I'm gonna do that right now. All right, there we go. This feels much better. I think I'm like slightly autistic or like Asperger's or whatever, where too much stimulus and I just like, I can't think. So now I've cleaned up. Problem not solved, not at all. So how am I going to get rid of my ennui? This is what I'm thinking. First, let's not sit in this chair. Okay, real first, I did a vlog two weeks ago about how I'm gonna run down here to the beach every day at noon or 12.30 and exercise, right? I haven't been doing that. So the problem is I just never made it an accountability thing for me to go down there and take a picture and uh, send it to my accountability partner. There was no incentive for me to do it, so I never did it. First thing, I'm just gonna do that right now. You know what? I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna write it down. Get rid of a new plan. Underline. One, clean up apartment. Check. I just checked that one off. Two, exercise every day. I've been doing quarterly fasts like five days or more. I did that for like a year. I did that like four times in a row. And then I haven't done that in maybe six months. I'm gonna do that starting at my last meal, whenever that was like today. So I'm not gonna eat for like five days. So let me write this on my uh, get rid of a new plan number three fast starting day five days the other things I'm thinking are taking a bit of a break and coming up with some one two three month goal kind of things as opposed to what I'm doing now which is at the beginning of every week on Monday I set my goals for that week and what happens sometimes is if I I have not slept a lot and maybe I like check my email first or, or I get caught up in something first and then I've got like two hours to sit down and, and think about it, you know, then I procrastinate and then it comes down to the wire, which is what I did this last time. I was like, I have 30 minutes left to like plan my week and I was already like kind of exhausted from what I've been doing that morning and I just didn't plan anything. I was, I'll just chill this week. And I basically did that the week before as well. So instead of planning my life out week to week, I think I need some goals, especially now that the European massage tour is no more. So the goals thing is sort of like about me being distracted. Like it's very easy for me just to pop on YouTube, which I was just thinking today is basically just TV. I'm just like fucking watching TV, which like me growing up, like watching TV is just like what the plebs do, you know, like daytime soap opera shit. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just watching TV and like squandering my life. So no computer use for let's say three days, three days, no computer use starting tomorrow. Good thing about this is I could use YouTube on my phone, but I have a system set up already where I can't use YouTube on my phone unless I want to pay for it. I'm doing a lot of consumption and I need a little bit more synthesis time. So no more consumption. For example, in the last three days, I watched Rick and Morty. I watched the entire Tiger King thing. I watched a shit ton of YouTube podcasts. So yeah, turn off the consumption. Okay, another one I'm thinking is meditation. I've done meditation four years straight, 20 minutes a day. And then I stopped maybe six months ago because I wanted to change my morning routine 
routine to be more fun, basically. For me to like have some good things to look forward to in the morning, as opposed to like, you have to do this, you have to do that, you have to do that. Right now, maybe I'm a fucking pussy, but I like my morning to go nice. I'd rather have a warm shower than a cold shower. I'd rather kind of just chill out here with a cup of coffee in the morning, as opposed to listening to a certain meditation and tracking and everything for 20 minutes. I used to do daily affirmations where I would put my hands up in the air and jump and, and like scream and stuff, these affirmations. And it's just sort of like, if you're not in the mood, you're like, <laughs> maybe I'll come back around on this. But right now I like my mornings to be a little more chill. So how do I make meditation not seem like a complete fuck? And chore. Here's an idea that I just had. I am thinking that if I put my meditation on Instagram, in my Instagram stories, that just makes it a little bit more fun. And it also accomplishes a lot of the accountability parts of doing something like this, keeping it up. Here's the plan. Instead of it being like wake up, shower, meditate, I'm going to do wake up, shower, coffee. Then I'll do meditation and I'll record it with the time lapse on my phone and I'll put, post that to IG stories. No time requirement on that. So not too strict and it has to be like five minutes. So what I'm going to try to do in the next three days. I'm not gonna eat food. I'm gonna be exercising. I'm gonna be meditating and I'm not gonna use my computer. I'm basically not gonna be doing any like work work. So what I want to figure out in the next few days of unplugging, not eating, and then also setting up some good habits is I want to get a schedule figured out for the next few months. And I want some goals on that schedule that actually fire me up. And I want to think about it and like find why that fires me up about the things that I choose to do. And I'm also not going to try to prioritize like my projects in order of business importance, because what I end up doing when I try to be just hyper logical about it and be like, this is the most important thing. I'll do this first <laughs> is I just don't do that. And I watch YouTube. So I'm going to try to, to, to find the balance between things that are actually high priority and things that I'm feeling and that I can find some energy behind. And I'll also try to keep in mind that very strict deadlines, like very compressed deadlines where I need to like really hurry on something and cut corners and just get it out. That usually works really well for me because the thing itself might not be super interesting, but if I'm going to do it in like seven days, something that you would think would take three months or something. I'm going to just like get it the fuck done. It's going to be like, wake up, do this thing, go to sleep, wake up, do this thing. That is how I like to work. So I'm going to try to find some things that actually fire me up, put some aggressive like timelines in there, maybe handcuff myself to those with like my accountability system. And uh, yeah, you know, get my fucking priorities figured out. What I really want to do right now is just like, hang out with my friends in Singapore and drink with them and like chill out and play video games. I'm in Brazil where I don't know anybody. Like I can't travel to Singapore. I was thinking I would want to spend fall after the European tour in, in Japan. That's probably not going to happen. The good thing is I have a lot of massage is banked up. So I'm going to be releasing videos every week. No problem there. I, I can last like four or five months before I need to record more massages. And the country that I've probably gotten the most interest from ever in the entire world is Brazil. And I just happen to be here during the lockdown and it's possible to travel around the country. I could go to Sao Paulo tomorrow if I wanted to. I could hop on a plane. The restrictions here are not bad. And as a tourist, visas have been extended until the emergency of COVID is over. So I can stay here as long as I want. They're not going to kick me out. So basically I'm in the perfect country. I'm just away from my friends. Yeah, I might like take a cab somewhere and then just like wander around. It should be fun. That's you know, like a balancing act of loving yourself, listening to yourself, empathizing with yourself, tapping into how you actually feel and like respecting that and honoring that. You know, I, I could set a goal right now and I could put a big accountability penalty on it. And that would be enough for me to white knuckle it, get it done to the minimum requirements that I outline. I'll look for loopholes and everything. Yeah, I really don't want to do that right now. I want to like feel excited about one of these projects that I'm going to be working on. So yeah, I'm going to take some time and chill out, try to get some energy, try to get a nice why behind some of these projects. All right, I hope this helps if you yourself are suffering from some ennui. Trying to figure out what the fuck to do. And I'll end with a little bit of gratitude. What am I What am I grateful for? I'm grateful that I'm here in Brazil, one of the most free countries right now in the world as far as COVID, as far as walking around. I have a business that I can operate online, have some content banked up. I did a lot of fun stuff this week. I spent like a whole day just making a music track that I'm just going to listen to with my friends. Just for fun, they did the same thing completely zero money in it, but just fun. And I get to take three days and just figure out what I want to do for the next couple months. I feel better. I actually feel a lot better. And having this vlog is good because I was going to record just some vlog, just like a weekly vlog. And I couldn't think of a topic that I gave any fucks about. So instead of me,
me phoning something in like, you know, how do you eat pussy? The top three, I could not do that right now. This has basically forced me to do a little soul searching by disconnecting. This seems like I'm connecting, but I am not receiving anything right now. I'm not consuming anything. This is just synthesis and putting it out and being creative. This has been actually a very useful thing, having this vlog and talking to you guys instead of just numbing myself out. So thank you for helping me get my shit organized. And uh, hopefully in the next couple of days, I've got some new stuff to announce as far as the tour and cities and projects I'm gonna be working on. So yeah, that's it, cheers. Oh,